Hello everyone, welcome to Preface Nomad Junior. I'm Casey and I'll be showing you how to draw a scratch. So the first thing you probably think is, can't we draw inside the costumes? Well, that is true. What if you want to make a doodle board or color filling? Well, this is where the scratch extension pen blocks come in. As seen in this doodle project, I can choose one of these four colors and draw anywhere on this whiteboard. Let's try to make this. So I downloaded my whiteboard and pen already, and I'm going to upload them to Scratch. First, I'll need to choose a color from my background. Now, my whiteboard will be part of my backdrop, so I'll upload it here. and adjust the size. Next, I'm going to delete the cat and upload the pen as a sprite. And adjust the size of the pen. There is a particular point to be aware of here. I need to move the pen in the costume so that it's pointing at the center point in order to make it look like we're using the pen to draw. However, my pen cannot be on top of the point or it won't be able to draw. So I need to set it to point at the center and as close to it as possible. Next, I'm going to make my colors. Now I'm going to make them by painting a sprite and then I'm going to get a circle, change it to one of the colors I want, and then make it around this size. Now, these colors actually need a white outline to stand out, so I need to go to outline here, make it white, and change it to A. The rest of the color sprites are basically the same, so what I can do is just duplicate them and change their colors. Now, we're done with the designer. Let's move on to the blocks. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that the colors stay in their position on the stage. So we need to give them coordinates. So I'll just move the paint here, and then I'm going to get the block saying when the green flag is clicked. And make it go to this position with this block. I'll need to repeat this for all my colors. So now, we need to work on what the pen can do. Firstly, we need to make the pen follow our math pointer, so we'll get a green flag in a forever block. And we'll go to motion and grab a go to mouse pointer block. And we also need to make sure the pen appears on top of everything else, so it will need to go to front layer. In order to make it draw, we need to go to the extension blocks and find pen extension. After clicking on it, you will find all of these blocks related to drawing here in the pen section. Now, the first thing you want to do is make sure the whiteboard is always empty in the beginning. So you're going to go grab the first block in the pen section, which is the erase all block. Next, you can set the size of the pen using the set pen size to block. I'm going to set it to 5, but you can set it to any number you want. The larger the number is, the thicker the pen will be. Drawing on scratch with the pen extension is actually very simple. You see these two blocks here, pen down and pen up? They work exactly how a normal pen does, just like how you can write when you put your pen down on the paper and stop when you lift it back up. So we will need an if-then-else block. And we will then get the mouse down block and place it inside of the if condition. This helps us track whether the mouse is held down. If it is, we will need to add the block pen down. And in else, we'll put pen up. Put a forever block around the whole thing and add the when green flag clicked block again. The final codes we have to do is to set the pen to draw with different colors. So what we would do is grab another when green flag clicked and forever block, 
and then grab an if-then block and put it in. Now to simulate the paint color being clicked, we will need to get an and block and ask it to detect whether the brush is touching the pink sprite and the mouse is down. In this case, we set pen color to pink and put it inside the if-then. We can select the pink color using the color picker. The rest of the colors need to be able to be picked also, and the way they're picked is exactly like the color pink. So what we can do is duplicate the if-then block we just made and change it to touch a chosen color and finally set the pen color. Repeat these steps for the rest of the colors. So let's do a brief recap of what we learned today. In this project, we explored a Scratch extension named Pen, which allows the user to create drawings in the project by providing them with function to draw. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the project. Remember to give us a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get our daily content. I'm Casey and this is Preface Nomad Jr.